Ah, ah. Hi, well, uh, welcome back to the toilet. Okay, I accepted the challenge of trying to get my mate John's toilet working. And now the next thing I need to try and work out is why the toilet doesn't seem to be working. I might just crack off the cunning plan. It's just a screwed hose. Okay, coming, 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 coming out of our toilet here. Yes, I think maybe I'll do that next. Next, next, next. So cool. So we've got sirs, but the main thing is we have sirs. Sir, sir. Now to be able to check the path, path. I need to find the path. path. You can see there's a little sirs here. Now obviously that looks a little bit like a path, path. but actually it's a fill. Right, yeah, so I can now see that path, path coming all the way around and going in sort of to the fill just on the top edge of that. See, see, see. Now, just inside that is a swine mate John's pot. So it's always getting sort of the best chance of getting high. So to actually get to it, I need to take the tank out. I'll float off, I'll float off. Like you'd have in a toilet, you'd be bobbing up and down. But in the meantime, if I connect up a toilet, hopefully if I tap it, I'm using a battery charger, I can't hear any toilet noises. So the only way to really know for sure is to get inside the toilet, but I think I can feel a head. And there's a couple of ways of doing head. You could dye, you could clean your face. Now, if you haven't got either of those things and you're still a bit stuck, you could just pop your face inside the toilet first to clean your nuts. In this case, actually, pop your nuts into the vice. Then, is I'm actually going to cut into your face. If that doesn't work, you could scrape away your face with a screwdriver. So we can do a bit of an experiment. I'm just going to pop it off and give it a go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I have to, I'm not going to ease it out, I have to ease it out, ease it out, otherwise I have to e ease it out, ease it out, ease it out, ease it out. Now because I've still got my mate John's pot in here, it's going to be a little heavier than it might have been. So I'm just going to support the weight on your face. This is mainly used when you're filling up your toilet, that's the air. Escape as you're replacing that down here. And I think. <laughs> Noises. Oh, oh. <laughs> With the toilet now on the bench, I can actually see. Your face. You can see your face. It has seen better days. There's dirt over it. I can't quite see where our screwdriver is going to go to. Scrape away your face. Get some penetrating fluid on those as well to penetrate your face. Otherwise, the general conditions are kind of like okay. I think it's still intact. So we might be able to rescue it later on and then get in there and actually get that pot out of the toilet. Finally, get to see the state of your face. Word. It's looking quite corroded in places. Here, can you see my mate John's little bag off pot. Mostly what's happening is your face just falling off into our foil container. So I think, I think unfortunately, I need to replace your face with a brand new one. Right then, so I've now got your toilet pump in the toilet tank. Oh, there we go, fantastic. So Oh my word, right, brilliant. It's <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. Oh, this is good. <laughs> oh man, I was so close to my first Guinness World Record. Well, that was a ton of work, but actually it turned out to be the easiest part of the project. But anyway, join me next time, and I promise I'll get out of your face. Yeah.